Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Good to see you, good to be back here again. Uh, let me show you what we're using today for the shave. How are you doing? First of all, uh, excuse my manners. How are you doing? Good, I hope you're well. Right, we're gonna be bowl lathering in this little yellow bowl with the black and white kind of dots in it, but um, they create a little ridges. You can't really see it. I think it's just the paint, but it feels like it's bumpy, which is very good. Right, I've put the kind of crope cream soap in there, uh, carrying on the UK artisans and soap makers for August. Uh, this one, it's quite an old tub, this. This is Signature Soaps. Uh, this is Capra Goat's Milk Hybrid Shaving Soap. Uh, they're based in Bolton, which is near to Manchester, kind of middle of England. Uh, there's the ingredients there. Yeah, I've had this tub for a while. They've got new labels and stuff now. Um, this is an old label. This is the way they used to come out, but they're all nice labels now and stuff. So, and they have aftershaves too. Here is the, I'll call it, I'll call it a crope. It's um, it's unscented, so it just it smells of um, well, goat milk, I guess, but it kind of smells like like burnt caramel. That's the kind of scent it has, but there's no real scent to it. It's like a almost like a fudge kind of consistency. So I've pressed them in the bowl. There is there. Um, Brian is the man that runs things runs things at Signature Soaps. I'm sure he'll chime in uh, if this soap is still being made. I think there's some with different scents and stuff like that. Oh, great ingredients, really good soaps. Um, yeah, signature soaps from the UK. Right, as I say, I'm going to be bow lathering with the brush, which is the Kevy Shaves DS Cosmetic, or DS Cosmetic Kevy Shaves. Yeah, I've um, this has been out for a couple of years now. Really nice. Uh, tuxedo Knot. I think it's a 24 millimeter. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful brush. Um, the razor is the, I've not used this for a while, the Baby Future. Here it is here. Yeah, I'm sure some of you might have seen this before. Um, I picked this up from AliExpress, I think it was. But I think QShave are doing them now. Yeah, it kind of looks like a, a mini version of the Future. But I'll show you a picture of them together in just a second. Um, but this one is held on with magnets. There's uh, strong magnets in there and there's magnets in the head and it just clips on like that. It's an adjustable. Uh, the numbers go from one right the way around to eight. Yeah, and uh, you just twist it like that. And obviously the, the, the blade gap changes. Can you see it changing there? Yeah, so that's it. Uh, the baby future. Now the blade I'm gonna be putting in that is the one that was requested a couple of shaves back, but I didn't have the um, Indian version of these particular blades. Uh, these ones are made in St. Petersburg, St. Petersburg in Russia, which you can probably see there. So it's a Gillette 7 o'clock Super Stainless or Gillette 7 o'clock Green, because they're in the, the green box. So I have one here, um, yeah, just right on it, 7 o'clock Green, so I know what blade it is because it doesn't have anything on the wrapper and it, one dot on there, so this is its second use. So I'll take that out, put that in the, the razor. So how you load this is, you put the blade on like that and that has magnets on there so it doesn't fall off. There it is there. And then you just let the top cap sit on like that. And there it is, uh, and I'm gonna have this starting on setting Five. So setting five there. Is it on properly? Oops. <laughs> I just dropped it in the sink. Yeah, oh that's it. The blade's on sitting there. Yeah, so the, the, the these two pins go in between these holes and then you just snap it on like that. Let me just give that a wipe. Yeah, all um nicely aligned. Look at that guy, that looks quite a gap, doesn't it? That's on setting five. But uh, we'll see how we go on. Right, so what I'm going to do is now, because I call this the baby future, it's actually roughly about the same size as the, the Merkur future, uh, the head and stuff like that. This actually might be a little bit wider, uh, but in terms of aggression, it's nothing like the future. It's a lot more tame. The handle's a little bit thinner. Uh, I'll show you 
some photographs or some video footage of the Merca future and the baby future uh, together so you can see just how they look together. And then I'll whip up this uh, signature soaps, cream crope soap in the bowl with the brush and we'll come back and we'll start the shave. Okay, that's the uh, soap whipped up, nice and peaky and shine on it, beautiful, yeah, didn't take long at all. Takes a good bit of water as well, which I like. So, wh what do you think of those, um, the, the, the two razors together, the, the daddy future <laughs> and the baby future? Oh, it's okay, it's okay, it'll be okay, that's, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> It's okay. Right, let's uh, let's get that out. That sounds like a, a saying for let's get drunk. Let's get lathered. <laughs> right. Yeah, as I say, the uh, the scent on this is kind of like it's like burnt caramel. That's what it smells like. But um, I guess that's what the um, goat's milk in a soap when you when it's all mixed up and stuff with all the stuff that goes into making the soap I guess that's what the smell is well, I've used this a few times uh, it's a great soap crop cream <laughs> yeah very good yeah Brian um, at signature soaps he has um, a few new scents now as well as I say, it's different packaging now. It's all good, good stuff, good stuff, good lather. Yeah, look nice, nice and peaky. Good, right, that's good enough. Right, let's heat up the, uh, heat the little baby up. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> right, the uh, baby future on setting five for the first pass with the Gillette seven o'clock green. Listen to that again. Um, thank you for all the comments about the uh, Outlaw razor in the last shave. And um, people were saying about the feedback and I, I looked back at the video, man, what a racket that that blade and razor were making going over the stubble. Um, yeah, this is the same, listen. Maybe not quite as loud, but um, yeah. Yeah, I think the last time I used this, or I've used it maybe a couple of times on, on uh, camera, on video, uh, there was a couple of comments, one or two comments, saying that they, they wouldn't trust these uh, magnets to kind of hold firm throughout the shave, but they really are quite solid. There's no way that's going to move. So it's... Uh, whether it will... Stand the test of time, only time will tell.
but it feels um, on certain five. I mean, if you had the America Future on certain five, it would feel a lot, lot more aggressive than this does. I think this is a lot more usable. For me anyway, I find it more usable. Um, yeah, nice handle to hold, no overhang. So very good, the blade's all covered. Feels great. Fairly easy to get under the nose. Yeah, not too bad. Right, that's good. First pass. Feels great. Nice reduction in the stubble, which is what you're looking for. A nice uh, slickness on that soap. Right, let me rinse and come back for the second pass. Okay, nicely rinsed off. Yeah, if you can see some of my thumb there, I um, I caught it in the door and it's just a little bit bruised. But it's okay. You don't have to have too much sympathy for me. <laughs> Please. <laughs> right, back to this lovely soap. Yeah, I think this um, goat's milk soap was out before all the other kind of artisans started using goat's milk soap, as far as I know. Anyway, it feels, um, yeah, really uh, silky. Putting it on your face really feels great. And uh, signature soaps are all about, um, you know, good ingredients for the skin and stuff like that. So. All good stuff. I think you could get this in, maybe not this one, but I know the they, um, Pasteur's in New York are selling signature soaps. I'm not sure if there's any other vendors in the US. West Coast Shaving maybe, I don't know, I don't know. As I say, someone will comment and will know, or I'll check and put some links in description. Yeah, that feels great. Right, so baby future, I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna turn it up to, um, Setting six, just to see how that feels. Can you see that? Yeah, there we go. Just to see if it feels any different. At setting five, felt like um, about a four on the, the Rockwell 6S. It doesn't feel much difference here. A little bit more. Still really not much uh, blade feel. And still really smooth. I think when I bought this it was um it was something like ten pounds. I don't know what the price of it is now. I'll as I say I'll put the links. Um, to everything I've, if I could find it. Yeah, so if you know what the Rockwell on setting four feels like, on the four plate, sorry, that's what setting five felt like. Uh, that's what number five felt like on this. So if you're looking for something with a bit more aggression, more blade feel, you can still turn it up to number eight. Um, you know, some people prefer more blade feel. I like to feel the blade cutting the hair. I'm not a huge fan of that, it's okay, but I prefer it to feel smooth, just uh, doing its job. You know, you've got um, three, three passes to get through, well, if you want. Maybe if you turn it up, you maybe get what, get the shave done in two passes. But that's a nice reduction again. Yeah, really good. Right, let me rinse. I'll come back for the third pass. 
that feels great. Nice and uh, slick. The residual slickness is really good. Right, there's still um, plenty of cream in this bowl. So let's see, uh, can you see the shine on that? Yeah, look, is that coming across? Really good. <laughs> yeah, with this, um, applying this lather with this soft synthetic brush, <laughs> it feels like um, it feels like silk going on your face. Really, really smooth, really comfortable, really um, nice and pleasing. A nice feeling putting the lather on. It feels really silky. Plenty of lather there as well. Good stuff. Good stuff. Right. I've turned this down to setting four for the uh, against the growth pass. Yeah, can you see those numbers? Yeah. They, they don't look as, they're not coming across on camera, but they're really visible um, to the eye. Yeah. Can you hear that plane? That's heading towards the water. That'll be dropping off the next uh, shipment of soap. <laughs> like some, like some illegal uh, drugs operation. <sharp inhale> Drop the soap. I'll go and pick it up at the uh, as darkness falls. <laughs> pick up the cargo. <laughs> right, set in four uh, with the baby future. I have to say that is so comfortable. Yeah, really, really comfortable. You can hear the blade cutting, but you can't feel it. Look. We'll Weeper there. Yeah, it's easy, easy to find the angle for the blade. The angle of the blade, sorry. Just using a light touch again. It's always the sign in this moustache area. How good a, a soap performs. Yeah, no problem. No problem at all. Great slickness as well. Superb. Right, let's have a quick run, see if there's any pickups pick pick needing done. I've got a lather up here. Yeah, shaving off the eyebrows. Right, let's see. Yeah, little spot there. Wow, that's so slick. Maybe just a touch up here, just at the sideburns. But other than that, we're good to go, good to go. Right, as with all um, adjustable razors, for the pickups I always uh, 
turn them up. So let's go up to the highest setting. Setting eight for the pickups. Let's see how much uh, blade feel there is. Yeah. Yeah, you can feel the blade there. Not a huge, not a huge amount of blade feel, but you can uh, feel it doing its job. I don't actually know what the uh, the blade gaps are for uh, the setting on this thing. Just a, a light touch for the pickups. You're in my stomach then. Yeah, needing some lunch. <laughs> that feels good, feels good. Right, quick rinse. Wow. Feels excellent, right. Let's get some of this uh, nice uh, goat's milk soap cream croak. Yeah, look at that. You see how shiny that is. Beautiful, right, face wash time with this beautiful soap, croak, soap. <laughs> right, so I'll rub this in. Get some of these uh, fantastic properties from the goat's milk and other ingredients. Rinse off with hot and cold. Clean up my gear. Save the bow shave. Ah, oh, that feels really good. Really nice. Right, post shave. Uh, after shave, Frank's hot sauce. <laughs> it's not, it's a skin bracer. I think this was, um, yeah, it was, look. You can see it there, Frank's, 1920. Yeah, so it was a Frank's hot sauce, you know, for the wings and stuff like that, but it's a glass bottle, so I just uh, decanted it into that. So this should really burn. <laughs> I'll just put my finger over that so there's not too much coming out. That's good. That's good. Yeah, skin bracer. Old school scent. Yeah, a little bit of burn. Nice one. Well, a little bit of methyl in there too. Great scent. It's uh, like a powdery, powdery aftershave. That's what it smells like. Like. Uh, yeah, it's just nice, just a real old school scent. And finishing it off, uh, I think I used this in the last shave. Cien, Cien, Cien Balm from uh, uh, Lidl in the UK. Kind of very similar to Nivea. Yeah, similar consistency, similar scent. So we'll just have some of that. Yeah. It's not exactly the same as Nivea, but it's um, very similar. It's probably made in the same factory. There we go, that's the shave. Just uh, wash my hands, give them a quick dry. Right, who's going to blink first? <laughs> Me, I'm going to blink first. Right, there we go. Yeah. Let's just rub this in. Okay, good stuff. Right, let me show you what we've used. The razor, well, we bowl lathered first of all. Let me show you the bowl. Bowl lathered uh, in that bowl. The brush was the DS Cosmetic Kevy Shaves. There we go. 24mm Tuxedo Synthetic. All cleaned out. Very nice. Nice colours in there. So, fantastic. Signature soaps, Capra Goat's Milk Hybrid Shaving Soap. Here it is here. Yeah, not much of a scent. The scent doesn't hang around. It's, as I say, it smells like, it smells like kind of burnt caramel. So, uh, but essentially it's a, 
it's a non scented soap because it doesn't hang around any time. As soon as, it's, as soon as you shave it off, it's gone. So you can put any aftershave you like on with it, but great performance from uh, Signature Soaps. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's still doing these uh, hybrid ones. I don't know, I'm sure he'll, he'll chime in on the, the comments, um, but that's the soap there. Fantastic, really good. Really, really good for the UK artisans. I think I'll only be maybe one, two, maybe three left, one or two maybe, uh, before the month of August is out. The Razor, the little baby future. Uh, it's okay, don't cry, it's okay. Come on, look, I'm gonna take a photograph now, okay? For the thumbnail, okay? <laughs> yeah, the baby future, or the SNMRN, I think it's called the Sinmurn Razor. Or it was called that, I'm not sure if Q-Shave have rebranded it. Uh, I was thinking about the handle, it's not really slippy at all, just kind of like the Futures, but used it on setting uh, 5 for the first pass, 6 for the second pass, 4 for the third pass and then turn it up to 8, which is a high setting for uh, uh, against the, no, the pickups, sorry. What did I use it against the grain? It's number 4, wasn't it? Yeah, that's what I said, 8 for the pickups. Yeah, it's held on with these magnets, the blade, as I say, it's pretty solid. It doesn't come off at all. Uh, and the, the blade that was in that, second use, Gillette 7 o'clock green. Post shave, old school skin bracer in the Frank's hot sauce bottle. And finished it off with the little Cien Men, Cien Men Bam. Good stuff. There we go. That's the shave. Skin feels right, really nice. <laughs> right, skin feels right, yeah, it does feel right. I hope it's not wrong. <laughs> yeah, really good, look. Here we go, the sun's coming out here. Way. I'll be able to go and get some lunch and sit in the garden. Marvellous. Right, um, hope you have some good shave yourself, um, using some good stuff, I hope. I've shown you some, um, maybe, UK artisans that you haven't heard of before. I've still got maybe one or two shaves to do, so, Hopefully I'll be able to um, dig something out that I can use that maybe some of you haven't heard of before and you can go and check them out. Um, yeah, so it's, it's all good. But I'll put links for everything in the description if I can find them for all the stuff I've used today. And then you can uh, click on it and uh, browse and look and decide, hmm, that sounds quite good. Um, maybe, nah, I better not buy it. I don't need any more razors. Another soap? No, maybe not. Well... Mm, it's more that smells. Oh, look at that one. Bye! Before you notice in your basket. <laughs> That's what happens, isn't it? Right. Uh, yeah, good stuff. Right, okay. Uh, have yourselves a wonderful rest of this week, and I will see you in the next shave. Until then, take care.